So not only did we just hit our 1,000 member mark on Discord, but as of a few days ago, we also hit our 200,000 sub mark here on YouTube. And I just wanted to take a second and tell you guys that you are awesome, fantastic, beautiful beasts, and that you guys have just made this channel so much more than it ever really intended to be. When this all started, I was just trying to save people from wasting hours of their time learning things I knew could be done in a few minutes. That's really all it was. I hated rigging every time I made a new game. The rigging process was always my least favorite part of the project. I despised doing it, and I hated how long it took me to learn how to do it. And that's why I recorded a video of the whole process into five minutes, so that other developers wouldn't have to waste hours of their life trying to figure out how to do the same thing. And it turned out that actually everyone hates rigging too. And many years later, that's still one of my most popular videos that new 3D animators watch every month. Then you guys started asking me other questions like, how do you texture? How do you keyframe? How do you animate? And one by one, we just kind of made a entire 3D animation crash course for the whole world. Originally, the channel was primarily a resource for game developers, but with you guys, it ended up just being a resource for all computer art in general. We've covered modeling, sculpting, topology, rigging, white painting, UV mapping, texturing, animating, body and facial motion capture, AI, importing, exporting, programming, and special effects across multiple software, including Blender, Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Rococo, Dolly, Stable Diffusion, Unity, and Unreal 5. If there's anything related to to those things you're interested in learning how to do, odds are I've covered them in a video for you in five minutes. If you are a computer artist, if you visit my ArtStation store, then I sell a lot of tools and assets that might potentially save you a lot of time, including anime shaders, anime style characters, anime style weapons, anime style bad guys, anime style hair curves for Blender, belt curve brushes for ZBrush, photorealistic teeth, special effects for Unreal, fully rigged anime posable dolls that you can use for image to image and stable diffusion. So if you need any of that stuff, you can get that from my store and support me directly. Now, in the next video, we will be continuing right where we left off in Unreal 5, and I'll be showing you all the cool stuff I've figured out over the last three weeks. I'm going to try my best to get everything published for you in the next five days, because I've actually figured out a lot in between the last time you saw a tutorial, so I'll be uploading extremely aggressively over the next five or six days, in order to try and speed through and progress to the more fun stuff that I know you guys want to see. I know not everyone here wants to be a game blueprint programmer, and I don't expect the next 10 videos to be very popular, but for anyone looking to learn how to make games in Unreal 5, I think this information is going to be extremely important for you to know. And originally today, I was going to announce some merch, but I'm not honestly really satisfied with the reviews on Teespring, so we're just going to postpone that for now until I can find a better t-shirt vendor. But yeah, sorry about that. I don't really have any merch available right now. And just to celebrate a little bit with everybody, I will be doing a live stream tomorrow, Saturday, starting at 11 p.m. for about two hours. The first part of it will be basically just be like a little Q&A. So if you have any questions or topics or themes you would like to hear me talk about, if you go to my Discord, there is a live stream suggestions tab. Just drop any ideas you'd like to see, and I will answer as much as I can at the beginning of the live stream. Then in the last hour, we'll just relax and have some fun conversations while I play some Armored Core in the background. And this part of the stream is really just to get to know you guys and play some games and have fun together. But we will be playing teams, so in order for us to coordinate, you must be able to live call on Discord while we're doing this because when you're doing teams in Armored Core, communication is really important so we can strategize and make the correct plays in game. So if you play Armored Core 6 and you would like to play together on a team with me against whoever we find online and you're like one time zone away from US Eastern, go ahead and send an email to me here and I'll try and see if I can find you on Steam. For the sake of not having a laggy stream, please only do this if you are kind of close to the same time zone. Again, US Eastern is where I am. So if you're like in New Zealand, then uh, yeah, that might not be a fun experience for everyone else. So please be mindful of that. So if you have a Discord account and you have a Steam account and you're kind of in the same time zone, send an email here and we'll try to play together on the stream. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So live stream tomorrow. I'd love to see you there. If not, don't worry about it. I will start to do these regularly in the coming month. But anyway, so I hope you look forward to that. Again, thank you so much for being here. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.